That's right, Cole. The Iowa wrestling team is definitely pushing aside the tough loss they suffered last Friday night and moving on to prepare for their next ranked opponent this weekend. Alyssa O'Dell has more. The Hawks are coming off a tough loss against number two ranked Penn State, and now they will have to bounce back against number four ranked Ohio State this Friday night here at Carver. Uh, we looked at these three weekends for a long time now. Um, it's important. The two that just happened, that's over with. We learn from it, we keep moving. We don't learn from it, forget about it, move on. We keep learning and we move forward. And right now we have Ohio State. Stay tough the whole match and, you know, do what you do best. And I think that's with everybody, so. It matters, everything matters. I mean, it matters moving forward for, for, um, for seeding in the Big Ten and the national tournament too. So we gotta work hard now to maybe get a favor later. So yeah, of course it matters. It's not, not, not basketball or, or, or football where you can maybe lose you know, to the number one, two ranked team and then come back at, and at the end of the season and we'll get them. You know, there's, there's not, not enough time, not enough time in the day, not enough time, time in the season, not, not enough time in life to, to just like let, let a, a, a loss go. Iowa leads the all-time series against Ohio State 38-3. But this time, they're facing a number four ranked Ohio State with a perfect 8-0 record. It should be another fun matchup here in Iowa City this weekend. Reporting from Carver Hawkeye Arena, this is Alyssa O'Dell, Daily Iowan TV Sports. Like Alyssa said, fourth ranked Ohio State will take on the Hawkeyes Friday night at 7 p.m. in Carver Hawkeye Arena. Now, a number of awards were announced this week. The volleyball team held its annual postseason banquet this past weekend where Ashley Mariani was named Team MVP, Annika Olsen received the Coach's Award, and Reagan Cole was awarded Most Improved Player. It was also announced that, Megan, that excuse me, sophomore Megan Gustafson on the women's basketball team was named the Big Ten Women's Basketball Player of the Week honor roll. This is Gustafson's fourth honor of the season. She's averaging 17.6 points and 9.8 rebounds a game and is shooting about 67% from the field which ranks second in the Big Ten and sixth nationally. Gustafson and the team will hit the road and face off against Maryland on Sunday at 1 p.m. After the women's gymnastics meet this weekend, Claire Kaji was named Big Ten Freshman of the Week. Kaji won her second floor title of the year with a season-best 9.99 against Ohio State on Saturday. Kaji has earned a title at every meet so far this season. The women's gymnastics team will also face off against Maryland on Sunday inside Carver Hawkeye Arena at 2 p.m. Now coming up this weekend is also the Senior Bowl where three former Iowa football players will be participating. You can watch quarterback C.J. Bethard, defensive tackle Jaleel Johnson, and defensive back Desmond King play in the All-Star Game this Saturday at 1.30 on the NFL Network. Now more news from the football department today. Head coach Kirk Ferentz announced Tuesday that wide receiver Jonathan Parker will transfer from Iowa to play his final season elsewhere. Parker played only one game in the 2016 season due to a preseason injury. Now the men's basketball team is back tonight as they take on Illinois in Champaign. The team is not only looking for its first three-game win streak at the State Farm Center since 1975 to 1977, but is also hoping to snap a two-game losing streak. Now this will be an interesting game as it will feature two of the Big Ten's leading scorers, our very own Peter Jock at 21.6 points a game and Malcolm Hill of Illinois who is averaging 17.8 points per game. You can catch that matchup on the Big Ten Network tonight with tip-off at 8.06 p.m. Now tune in tomorrow for the results of that game and a look at the Iowa dance team. Cole, back to you.